Are you treating your business like a business? Now, I know we've all heard this before. You got to treat your business like a business. You got to treat your business like a business. And we all say, yeah, 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 I do so. I do so. You know, I have my set times. I report to my business and I do my money making activities, right? So I treat it like a business. And then when I ask them some specific questions about their business as if it was a business, I get, huh? What? No? Uh uh. I don't do that. Hmm. Hi, my name is David Abram, and I'm going to teach you just one aspect of treating your business like a business today that's going to really make a difference in your results. So one of the things I was mentioning just a moment ago is when I sit with a, um, a, a teammate of mine, for example, and they're treating their business like a business, and I say, that's fantastic. Share with me your mission statement. My what? Your mission statement. What is the mission of your business? And they're going, hmm, yeah, well, I haven't really considered that. I go, well, it should be the, one of the very first things on your business plan. Can you just shoot me over your business plan? Let's go over it. Yeah, no, I haven't done a business plan. Hmm. Well, these are basic components of a business. And if you're truly going to treat your business like a business, guys, you've got to kind of get down to basics because this is going to lay the, the pathwork, the framework, the, the road of which you can now run on to you know, achieve success with your business. One of the things on your business plan is marketing. And if you go to any one of your textbooks uh, in business, you're going to notice that marketing is, a, is an activity that needs to consume 80% of your time. This is very important, right? That's how you drive traffic to, your, to what we call your value proposition, uh, that sort of thing. So today, what I'm going to talk to you about, guys about is how to manage your paid advertising budget within your marketing. This is very important because if we have a gunshot approach to marketing, we're going to have a gunshot result. But if you can manage your marketing efforts right down to the very detail of your budget, then you'll never go under, right, as far under budget, pardon me, uh, under uh, financed. Uh, you'll always have a, a, a fresh supply of, of paid advertising, paid leads, which is going to be the heartbeat of your business. So uh, what I'm going to do with you guys today is I'm going to go into kind of what I do as far as managing my marketing budget for my business, which will show you why I never have to worry about how much I'm spending because I've got it all figured out. Okay, it's all about metrics. So if you don't have some of these metrics I'm about to share with you, you need to go get them, go find them, figure out how to, um, uh, you know, figure out these numbers for yourself. And I'm going to use my business in Empowered Network as an example of how I figured out my marketing budget. And then in another video, I'm going to show you how I apply that budget to get quality traffic to my, to my what we call my value proposition uh, my funded proposal, that sort of thing, okay? So with that, guys, let's go to my computer, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. See you over here. All right, guys, here we are on my computer screen. And for those of you who haven't done an over-the-shoulder -shoulder training with me before, you know, I've got my camera over here on one computer, and I've got my monitor over here where we do our, our work together. So if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking with you. At the, at the computer screen, and let's take a look at there now. So there's a couple of variables we're going to be and I want to just quickly identify them for you right here. And we're going to look at <clears throat> really just two values here. There's a ton of values that you need to do regarding the metrics in your business so you can stay profitable. Well, what we're going to do today is, is talk about some two metrics that we need to be aware of so we can stay profitable in our in our paid advertising, okay? One is what we call the VPL, and what that means is value per lead. All right, it's gonna be super important, and I'll show you in a minute. And then the other one is um, the CLTV, <clears throat> and what this means is the customer lifetime value. All right, so we're gonna calculate those two up. And how do we do so? So I'm just gonna drop these down for a minute because we're gonna get right back to those. And the way we're gonna calculate these guys up is we need to grab a couple of constants. So they're kind of variables, but we're gonna... Brings us back to high school math, doesn't it? <laughs> um, <clears throat> what we need to look at is our total number of, su of subscribers. All right. Total number of subscribers, we're gonna to need to retrieve that number. We're gonna to need to retrieve the total number of funded, 
proposal buyers. Okay, and we'll talk about what that means in just a second. And then we're going to also need to get the total income generated to date. Okay, to date. All right, so we're gonna to need to get these, these numbers right here. And the one that you might be, well, what the heck is a funded proposal buyer? And well, that goes back to our training guys that I did uh, a few, I think weeks ago, where we talked about what that means. And really it's nothing more, nothing less. And I'm not gonna get into, into so much into a sales funnel, but uh, if you remember our sales funnel training, right? This is our funnel and I know I can't draw right now. We have traffic coming into the top and the first thing that we have here is our first offer, then our second offer. And our first offer is what's called a funded proposal or a loss leader value proposition, whatever you want to call it. And this is going to be anywhere between like a $5 and a $50 item. And this kind of gets them in the door. And then we take 100% of this, of this income that we generate right here and we put it back into the paid advertising campaigns that we're gonna be using in our business. So I'm not gonna really get into this so much, but just realize that that is what the funded proposal, um, what funded proposal buyers are, and we're gonna look at the total number. And again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna use Empower Network as an example throughout. And so within Empower Network, that is our $25 blogging platform. Okay, so let's go now to the internet and get these numbers and we'll return back to this page and draw, draw these calculations, come to these values and talk about why these values are important and how we can use them quickly to determine uh, if a, um, if a, uh, a marketing campaign is gonna, gonna sink us or swim us, right? And we wanna be swimming for sure. Okay, so total number of subscribers. Let's get that number first. And if I jump over to my A Weber, and if you recall in an earlier training, I started with no list, no knowledge, and just used as an experiment the Empower Network platform, the Empower Network training to build an online presence and online income. So everything that I'm gonna show you here today are the results of, it is today the 23rd of August, so the results of three months and three weeks worth of effort to date, and starting with no list. So in that time, I have built a subscriber base of a total of 429 people. So that was a pretty easy number to, to retrieve. So total number of subscribers is going to equal 429, right? Is that right? 429? 429, okay. So then the next uh, va uh, variable we have to get uh, the total number of buyers. We'll get these next to a one, a one in one move. Total number of buyers, of, of, of fund proposal buyers, and total income generated to date. So to do that, I gotta jump into my Empower Network back office. And those of us that are in Empower Network already, you can follow along, so I'm gonna show you where to retrieve these numbers. So total number of funded proposal buyers to date. For that, we simply go to View Team, okay? And once we get into this screen, and my computer's running a little slow because we have everything moving, we just go to the bottom and I can quickly see that I have 18 people that have bought Right, if I look up here, it's I have right here the EN basic membership, right? Active members is 18. All right, sweet. So that was another simple number to get. So right here, total number of funded proposal buyers is going to equal 18. So total income generated to date. So for this value, again, we're going to go to my business and we're going to go to my programs. Okay, and this is going to pull up you know, what I've earned to date, you know, for a lifetime of this account on every one of the programs that we have here or products. So I'm gonna try to get all of this into one view so we can add them all up. And that looks like it. And then from here, let me grab a calculator and let's do some math. There we go. All right. So basic memberships, I've earned 475. So 475 plus and then for my inner circles we've gotten 600 plus and for the Costa Rica we got 1500 and then up to the at we add the 15k we got 2000 
and then we add the masters 3000 and then that equals 7575 all right so let's jump back over here to our word doc and total income to date equals seven five seven five okay so this number down here then and let's just get rid of some of this space okay so the value per lead what this is going to uh, look like as a calculation is our total number of subscribers total subscribers divided by um total number of subscribers oh i'm sorry that's not that's why i was messing up that's this is actually going to be the total money total money earned divided by uh, oh my God, uh total subscribers So let's get that number. So total number amount earned is seven five seven five, right? Divided by four twenty nine. And what is that going to equal? Let's take a look. Okay, so total number earned. We already had that in the calculator. We're going to divide that by uh, four twenty nine. Four twenty nine, and that is seventeen dollars and sixty five cents. Or 1766. Okay, so that's going to equal 1766. All right, we'll get back to that in a second. This calculation is going to be again the total number or total amount, total amount earned, and then that gets divided by. Um, the number of, of, uh, of basic buyers or the, or the number of funded proposal buyers. Okay, so that calculation is going to look like 7575, right? Divided by, uh, and in this case, it's what do we divide it by? The number of buyers or 18, right? All right, so let's do that calculation here. And we would go clear and go 7575 divided by 18. And that gives us 42083. Okay. So it equals 42083. Okay. <clears throat> so let me see if I can make this done. So we get all in one line, make it a little longer. Okay. I don't know why I didn't come up on that line, but anyway. Um, so we've got this value. And uh, that's why, there we go. Boom. So we get this value. And we've got this value, right? Okay. So what does this mean? Now, this is really revealing because these are the numbers that we really want to get. So what this means is every lead that comes into our system is worth $17.66. Okay, interesting. And the lifetime value, the customer lifetime value is $420. So that means when someone comes in and buys the, the, uh, the product, our, our, our blogging platform, that person's worth $420 to us. Interesting. So now we say to ourselves, well, we want to uh, make half, right? So we want to make a 50% profit margin. So that means right away I can tell you that I can spend $220 on paid or $210, excuse me, on paid advertising uh, every single month and not go and, and stay above water. So if I spend $220 every single month, I'm, I'm definitely going to make money. There's no question about it. Okay. That's pretty good. So now what does that mean? That means if I spend less than, so I can literally spend $16 a lead. I can spend $16 a lead and be profitable. If I spend 
$17.67, I'm spending a penny more. I'm, I'm upside down. So you want to stay underneath, in this case, $17, right? So let's say 16 bucks. So then when you look at your marketing opportunities, and you know I'm not going to go into marketing strategies right now, but if, let's say, for example, you're looking at a solo ad, okay? Because a lot of us look at solo ad buys um, as an opportunity to to uh, to market with, and I think that, I think they're great. I've, I've built a lot of uh, a lot of business with, with solo ads. Okay, so let's say that solo ads is what you can do. I'm just going to do a quick example, then we're done. So let's say your solo ad. Okay, solo ad, and let's say what's uh, an ad? I can't draw. <laughs> All right, so let's just keep the numbers easy. Let's say you're looking to buy a thousand, a thousand uh, clicks, and solo ads are, are are done by clicks. And what does that click mean? That means they're actually clicking on your offer. So at the front end of your funnel, you have an offer from the opt-in. Okay, you're going to buy a thousand people that click on that opt-in. Okay, or actually click on your offer on the email. So when emails open, they click on the offer. Now of that thousand people, let's say your offer converts at fifty percent. So of those 1,000 people, let's say 500 people come into your list, okay? So if you have 500 people that come into your list from a solo ad, you know, based on the numbers that you just did, where am I at? You know that they're worth six, right? So let's say for this solo ad, for 1,000 solo ads, let's say that the person's going to charge you, uh, what's a good number for 1,000? I'm, I'm so... I just everything's on auto for me right these days. Let's say they charge you 250 bucks for a thousand clicks. I, I think that's pretty accurate. So they charge 250 bucks for a thousand clicks. A thousand clicks are going to yield 500. Okay. So if I grab my calculator, I'm just going to do it with my hand here. So um, if it, where was that? So if you have 500 and um, you have 500 people coming to your list, cost you 250. So Right there, that's two dollars a lead. Okay, so so two dollars a lead. So what this equates to is two bucks a lead. Okay, now is that cheaper or more expensive than what they're worth? Well, that's cheaper. So if you're spending two hundred and fifty dollars to get five hundred leads, you're doing. You can do that all day long and never go, never go under, never go under, because you now have. Have a metric here, okay? This metric here is going to show you that. I still can't draw with this thing. The system. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? Let me just clear that. So what I'm saying is, if you're paying two bucks a lead, all right, and your leads are your 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 value per lead is seventeen dollars, you're whatever fifteen bucks. You're making fifteen bucks per pop there over the lifetime of those leads. That's pretty darn. That's pretty darn good. And uh, if you don't know these numbers, though, my point being, guys, if you don't know these numbers, you're literally buying traffic blind and you don't know what's going to happen. And if you don't just spend the time to calculate these numbers out and then do them often, when I say often, I would say once a month, you know, uh, once every two months, get these numbers uh, uh, current so that you know when you're doing advertising that you're not going under. And that's it. Okay. All right there, guys. So that was just a quick run through of these two metrics that's going to really allow you to uh, hone in your marketing budget so you don't go over budget. Because one of the things you really don't want to do is go over budget and especially go over budget when you're not even realizing that you're going over budget. And next thing you know, you're, you're out of money and that's not, that's not good business. So again, treating your business like a business involves marketing budgets and identifying exactly what your value per lead is, and what your customer lifetime value is, and using that data to smartly purchase paid advertising for your business, and then just to keep on top of it. There's a few more uh, metrics that we're going to go over in, in, in future videos to really allow you to hone in your, your business. So if you haven't built a business plan, if you don't know what your mission is, and you certainly don't know what your what these metrics are, then I challenge you guys just to step back for a minute and really take the time to begin to now treat your business like a business and it'll treat you like a CFO or a CEO or whatever kind of CEO ever you want to call yourself and make the kind of money that you deserve. 
And so, guys, if you found some value here, any type of value at all, uh, this helped your business out, helped your mindset. If you had an aha moment with this stuff, uh, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to start the conversation with you. And let me know if there's other things that you would find of value that I can show you uh, as we move through this journey together. Okay? With that, guys, grab this post, like and share it amongst those folks uh, in your circle that can use this value as well. And be sure to comment below and go out and make it a great day. This is Dave Abron, and you and I will talk again soon. Bye for now.